Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. It has been a while and I've been really busy with stuff and uh, so I apologize for not making more parts, uh, but here we are. So, uh, last time when we when we had this big pause, what we did was we got to Orberg City and we were finally here, but apparently the gym leader is not here. Like, just Barry says, he's going out to the coal mine, so if you want to take on the gym leader, you better go off to the mine. Which is exactly what we're going to do. One quick tip, uh, well, not tip, but you can grab some stuff over here. Um, there's a, there's some grass here that you can train in, and there's some, bear, there's some items, I think, around here. I'll cut out, like, the wild, uh, Pokemon. Uh, I, I'm waiting for the repels to come up so I can get repels and not bother. So you can get two items here, one hidden. And well, one good thing about the grass here is that... Anyway, as I was saying, one good thing about the grass here is that you have... You can catch a Machop here. And I know that you need to trade and whatnot to... Um, to evolve it fully. But if you're having trouble with the first gym which is uh, rock type you can catch him a chop here so you don't have you can you know you can it learns karate chop at a really low level so you can uh, easily beat Rourke that's the gym leader's name by the way so moving on there are a couple items you can get here before going into the mines that is one here you can get a dire hit which I think increases your um, critical hit ratio when used in battle. You get a heart scale, which will come useful when you get to Pastoria City. Um, you can use it to remember old move from the move relearner. And yellow shards. Shards you can use to trade with move maniacs or whatever they're called, but they will teach you moves in exchange for um, a s amount of shards. Alright. Um, so, as I was saying, you will need to exchange shards for a specific type of moves, which... Too many wild Pokemon here. Um, Badook gained a level and also learned Stun Spore, which is a useful move. It paralyzes your opponent, which means I believe it's 50% chance of it being paralyzed, so it can't make any moves. Alright. So, as he said, you met Machop on Route 205. It gives you a hint that you can catch him a chop if you are having trouble fighting work. And let's guess what this guy has. Oh, he has a Geodude. Of course, he works in a mine, so he has a Geodude. Uh, I also, I think I have a decent name, nickname for Badoo, but of course I'm not going to reveal it now. Uh, I will let you, you'll see when, when I get to the next city after this. And Poison Point takes effect. I love Poison Point. It's, uh, you can either, when opponent comes into contact, it can either get uh, paralyzed or poisoned, and it's just amazing. I think, no, no, that's, that's effect score, my bad. Um, yeah, it's just Poison Point, so it just gets poisoned. I mean, I'm thinking about Shroomish, which is an excellent Pokemon, because it evolves into Berloom. Anyway... If this place is a really good um, training area for a grass type Pokemon because most of the time you find Geodudes, you may get the occasional Zubat, but. And here's Rourke. Okay, stand back and watch this. And whoa, he blew up the rock. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the batch from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. If you come this way. Oh yeah, this guy will bat at you, and I believe he has a Machop. If I'm, if he has a Machop, I'm just a huge nerd. Oh, he doesn't. Yay, my nerdiness is less nerdy. <laughs> so he has a, he has a Geodude, which Arpadu can take care of, because we can do times four damage against it. Because Geodude is rocking ground. Just completely destroys Geodude, even a weak attack like Absorb. Oh look, he does have a Machop, yay. I'm a nerd. And we will send out O'Reilly. 
or Star Raven. Oh, Starly. Star Raven comes after. There's Machop and Wing Attack away. And down it goes. Hey, we gained a level. Awesome. Level 12. If you don't want to catch, or if you pick Chimchar like me, and if you don't want to. Yay for lag. Hey, we got a convenient escape rope. Which we can use. Anyway, we can use the escape rope real quick, but that's not the button. If you don't want to walk through the whole crap. And here we are, back to Orberg City. So, all we have left to do now is go battle, take on the gym. And we will do that in this part because we have a lot of time. So here we are, Orberg Gym. This guy, howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to an impatient boy later. Gym, use, gym leader is a user of rock type. Oh, listen, rock type Pokemon really hit water, right? They're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they sure have weak shows. But I don't think that'll be easy. You don't have to. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering weaknesses. Going after a rock type Pokemon with a fire Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. Uh, you can completely skip all the trainer battles in this gym, like this way, like I'm doing right now, and go straight to take on more. But we're gonna do all the trainer battles just for all the experience. Geodude. Uh, Badoo can take care of that Geodude. No big deal. Absorb. And as I've said before, Badoo evolves into, well, you'll see what it evolves into, but, hey, okay, critical hit. But uh, you need to have maxed out its friendship, uh, or happiness level, whichever one you prefer to call. Level 12, awesome. Team's growing fairly nice. Onyx, no, we will go with Badoo. Uh, it evolves with maximum friendship if you if you have your friendship maxed out and you level up, and yeah, that's how so friendship can be maxed out by either winning battles, not making it, not letting it faint a lot, using items like um, protein item like items like protein or calcium, the stat boosting items. Wow, that's a fuck ton of XP. Nice. Now this guy. You can also in some cities there's. Um, Pokemon, there's people that can give your Pokemon massages, that's in, in this, yeah, I'm, I don't remember the name of the city, but it's in the city with the Game Warner, and it's the house next to the gym, so if you get the massage, the woman massages your Pokemon one, once every day, that can max out its friendship, and you can also take it with you. If you have it in your party and it walks with you, you get certain types. Ooh, Mega Drain. Awesome. It's just a more powerful version of Absorb, so we can just replace Absorb. And we have Mega Drain. Cool. And as you can tell, our main battler for this this battle, or this gym, will be Badoo. So, we we can save real quick because I'm that kind of guy who always saves like a lot when I'm not playing. When I'm playing on like on your on my DS, I save a lot, and I mean a lot. So, welcome. This is Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Roar, the gym leader. I am but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Alright, so you get this cool little transition, and we are battling War, the gym leader of Orberg City. His first Pokemon is a Geodude. All the information you will need is in the sidebars, the moves, and everything. Hope you liked them, because they took me a hell of a long time to make. <laughs> so... 
Yeah, first Pokemon Geodude, no big deal. Just Mega Drain and you can kill it. You can, you've been killing it with Absorb, you have no problem killing it with. If you picked um, Turtwig or Piplup, because they'll have moves like Bubble or Bubble Beam. Or Absorb or Mega Drain. And if you pick Chimchar, you're, you'll, you'll be ideal if you caught a Badoo like me. Or, you can evolve it. Ah, Stealth Rock. It's, uh, this is Rourke's gym's signature move that all gym leaders have. Like, the move that they give out as TMs. So, Ro still, Stealth Rock does uh, some amount of damage when you send out a Pokemon. Unless, um, and it does more damage according to weaknesses, so Rock. So, Steel-type Pokemon resist the damage, whereas Fire-type, Flying-type, or Bug-types get extra damage from Stealth Rock. And here comes Cranidos, his star Pokemon. Cranidos is a fossilized Pokemon, and it's really rare. You can only find it... Well, there's other ways to find it, but the main way to find it is going underground and finding a fossil. And so it will be wise to slow it down because it's really fast. Well, it shouldn't be fast, but the dude is really slow, so... Uh, it's, and it has Mold Breaker, so what it does is it ignores your ability. So, for example... Hmm, can't think of a good example. But, yeah, it technically just ignores your Pokemon's ability. Ouch! That took out Badoo in one hit. Okay, it's gonna be a bit tricky because we haven't evolved Chimchar yet. As I was saying before, that Chimchar, if you have Chimchar, it'll be ideal that you caught a grass type, but the other... And he uses a potion, what an asshole. <laughs> Uh, but it will be ideal if you caught something, if you evolved it and it has fire type, uh, fighting type capabilities. Ah, okay, this seems bad. Paralyze, come on, yeah. I think, I think it will be wise to use a potion here. Oh, not a bug ball. A potion, we have a lot of potions. Too bad we don't have to revive, or else we could revive the do would stand a chance against this thing. Pursuit. It is a dark type move, and it does more damage if you're switching out. It's just one little... Paralyzed, come on. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna hate him if he uses another potion. I really am. Paralyze again, please. Ouch. So oh, Blaze goes down. Sorry, Blaze. Take one for the team. And now we have Riley. I guess it all depends on Riley. So oh, go. And yeah, see, Stealth Rock does more damage to flying types because they're weak. To and hey, Riley pulls it out of the bat. Awesome. So we beat, finally beat Roar really, really poorly because we. Wow. That's a lot of XP. So Riley glued to level 13 and he wants to learn double team. Which is a decent move, I guess. We can replace Growl with double team. Awesome. And we have double team and we have defeated Rourke. Awesome. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer didn't have a single gym badge. But that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon rules, League of Rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you beat me, the leader. Here's our official Pokemon lead, Cole Badge. So, we have the Cole Badge. Having the Cole Badge means you can your Pokemon can now use hidden moves like Rock Smash outside of battle. You can also take this. So you get the team 76, which is Stealth Rock. It is a move that inflicts damage on foes switching into battle. And TM is one time use only, well, whereas HMs you can just uh, use them over and over again. And HM moves cannot be forgotten normally, you have to use um, move deleters for that. Plus, you've taken care of the gym leader, so did my advice come in handy or what? It'd be great if you become my fan. Yeah, no can do. Anyway, 
So we beat Orberg City's gym leader, and in next, in the next part of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we will go back to Heart. No, it's not Heart from City. Jubilee City to make our way towards Floroma Town, which if I just show you real quick. is right here because we can't go here because we don't have a bike so next time we will be going making our way towards floral town until then peace out